In this lesson, I will talk about the scapula. Scapula is a flat bone, as you can see it. It has th three angles. This is the superior one, and then it also has the inferior one, and then it has the lateral one. So between these angles, it also has three margins. This would be the lateral, then the medial margin, and the superior margin. It also has two sides. This would be the dorsal side, and this would be the costal side. It is slightly curved to match the thorax and the ribs. This, what you can see here, is the spine of the scapula, and the area above it is called the supraspinatus fossa, while the area below it is called the infraspinatus fossa. This is where the muscles originate that are called the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus muscle. If we rotate around, we will see here again that it's somewhat curved, so it also looks like a fossa, and that is the subscapular fossa, and that's where the muscle subscapularis subsca originates. We will see these muscles shortly, right after we explain the bone. On this surface, we can also see the fine ridges here, and those are for the tendinose insertions of the muscle, right here as well. If we go just a little bit more laterally, we can see here the coracoid process. It is very thick in its base, but it becomes thinner as it goes outward. If we remove the humerus, and then look at the bone from the lateral point of view, we can see here that the bone has this glenoid cavity. The glenoid cavity is basically the articular surface for the humerus. Above the glenoid cavity, we can see the supraglenoid tubercle. And below the glenoid cavity, we can see a large infraglenoid tubercle. What we see here is the acromioclavicular joint. The acromioclavicular joint is made up by the acromion of the scapula and the acromial end of the clavicle. Not always easy to recognize, we can also find here the deltoid tubercle for the deltoid muscle. It's not always easy to recognize it, and it's not always that prominent. One thing not to forget is that here we have the scapular notch. The scapula is normally a very free bone, very movable bone. It is only attached here at the acromioclavicular joint and also here at the glenohumeral joint. Besides that, the bone is completely free and only held by some muscles. These lessons and models come as part of my software called Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. If you don't want to purchase it, then you can click here to subscribe for free lessons in the future.